before we look at the benefits of early arrival, perhaps we should look at these two births. Th this female, which arrived on the 16th of March 2009, the second earliest bird, And this male arrived the next morning. Do these really look like birds that are exhausted after a long migration? We hear so much about migration and we do know how many birds are lost under migration. But these birds appear to me to be fitter than they will be when they're feeding their young. The arrival of spring, seen through the appearance of our well-known bird migrants, interests many people who otherwise have little interest in birds. But for us, the main interest is the behaviour that causes the earliest sand martins to return to their breeding sites so early that they are often affected by poor weather on or after arrival. This behaviour has to be of benefit to those returning to Britain or it would have been lost to them. Apparent benefits are the availability of the best breeding sites and time for three viable broods for males. There is a relationship between the day of the first arrival each year and the fledging of the first brood. 63 days plus or minus 5 days. As birds fledging in September can't really be called viable and it is 42 days from brood fledge to brood fledge. Second broods need to be started before the end of May. The main disadvantage is the loss of life on the breeding grounds through inclement weather early in the season. 31st March 2010 saw so birds too weak to get into the nest holes dying in minutes in a blizzard. The images show a bird dying within three minutes of arriving at a site when it became grounded after failing to get into a nest hole. Another was seen to fall to the ground and was at that point beyond revival. The bird is seen flying in front of the centre box there and then for when first grounded here. Over the 10 years to 2012, the mean arrival date at our colony in southern Scotland was 21st of March and the mean first fledging date was 23rd of May. This gave the early birds three weeks to get themselves sorted out before actual pairing took place. Here the bird is grounded and and coming to a very quick end.